guys, welcome back. So it's been a while. <laughs> it's been about two, three months, I want to say, since I last uploaded a video. And I want to say it's been about like four months since I filmed a video. So it's been a really long time. So I did post a little something on my Instagram, kind of stating like my whereabouts and what's been going on and everything. Um, so if you followed me on Instagram, you guys kind of know what's been happening. If you don't, why aren't you at something trying to MUA? Um, but anyway, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't understand or know what's been happening lately. Um, so we'll just get right into it really, really quick before I get to my huge collective haul with all my stuff in the back right there. So two really, really big things happened in my life within the past couple months. And one of the things was that I got a puppy. Um, so I am now a fur mommy to two fur babies now. Um, so I have my pug, as some of you guys already know. And then now I have my Shiba Inu. Um, if you guys don't know what a Shiba Inu is, it's essentially um, like a smaller miniature Akita, most well known as the Doge. So like the little internet meme or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I have a little four month old Shiba Inu. <laughs> it was gonna put her on camera, but she's like running around and downstairs playing with her brother and everything like that. So I won't go grab her just because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, but I'll input some like photos here and there for you guys to, just so you can see like what she looks like and everything. Um, so yeah, so I've been busy being a mom essentially. We've been kind of looking for another dog for a while now just because we feel like our pug needs a little bit of a a sister or brother like a little companion for when we're not at home because he just thought of him being at home all by himself when we're at work or something like that it's very it's it's sad and he's like a little old man now and he just i feel like he needs a little a little something in his life so her name is evie so evie like the pokemon um so both me and my boyfriend are kind of like nerds we love anime and Pokemon and stuff like that and Eevee is actually one of my favorite Pokemons if not my favorite Pokemon of all time just because I love the fact that Eevee can evolve to several different things depending on like what evolution stone and everything like that so yeah so here's hoping my Eevee turns into a Jolteon which is my favorite evolution of Eevee <laughs> um, but anyways uh, yeah so we have her and she's been taking up a ton of time just like any baby of any mammal animal whatever um so yeah so that's one thing that's been kind of keeping me from making videos and everything and then the second thing that's been taking up a lot of my time and the reason why i haven't filmed in so 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 long is i don't know if you guys notice a different setup i mean it's like the same setup and everything like that but i don't know if you like notice the window difference or anything but we moved and not only did we move, we bought a house. So yeah, my boyfriend and I are homeowners now, which is crazy to think about just because I feel like that's such an adult thing to do and say and just, yeah. And I, just, I don't even know if I'm even there yet. It, like realistically, I'm just like, I'm no, I'm not an adult yet. Like I, I feel like it's just, it's just weird to be saying that I'm a homeowner. Any, did anybody else feel like this, like purchasing your first home? If any of you guys have purchased your first home at all? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so our home has three bedrooms now. Um, at our previous apartment, we only had two and one was our bedroom, obviously. And then the other one was um, a shared office and studio space, I guess. Um, so in the past, like when I would be filming, like my boyfriend's desk and all his stuff would be like on the side and everything. Uh, but now I have my own space and that was one of the things that we really, really wanted as far as a house. We wanted at least three bedrooms so that way we can each have our own space. His office is actually like his office slash a guest room because it is a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so I have my own space now and I'm so, so excited for it. Um, it's very there right now um so definitely we'll be doing a ton of interior decorating and everything like that and once 
honestly once I set everything up the way I want it and the way I envision it to be I'll totally do like a little studio tour for you guys if you would like um but yeah so I own a house now me and my boyfriend own a house that is still crazy to think about so we've only been here for about like a month I want to say like not even a month it's only been like a couple weeks but we are pretty much all the way moved in uh, we really just like cranked everything out we wanted to be like subtle pretty much right away and i mean we didn't have that much stuff to begin with to like move and make yeah it's i mean we you you went from like a small two-bedroom apartment to a house so yeah we definitely did not have enough things to really fill the house um so we got everything done pretty quickly i think one of the only things i really need to do now at this point is the closet my boy honestly my boyfriend is all sorts moved in like his side of the closet and everything is all organized like i still have piles of clothes everywhere clothes are still in suitcases and stuff like that um so yeah uh so i definitely need to get on that but other than that everything else is pretty set up and again i am so excited and i'm still like freaked out and weirded out of the fact that this is our home like we could do whatever the fuck we want with our home, like I can paint the walls if I wanted to without like having to ask anyone for permission and I don't have neighbors to the side of me or downstairs I need to worry about and we can be as loud as we want and I own a home. So besides the fact of me owning a home and owning a new puppy, um, just work man has been so incredibly busy. Um, I did just switch over to full time at Sephora, finally. Like I feel like it was a long time coming but I am super, super happy to be able to be full time now. Um, so that's been taking up a lot of my time and not only Sephora, I do have my freelance weddings and stuff on the side that I've been doing as well and it is crazy this season I want to say like I feel like I am more busy this year than I was last year um but yeah so that's what's been happening there's just been a lot going on um but I'm happy to get back to filming so hopefully I can I'm hoping to be on like a more consistent schedule or something we'll we'll see like I, I can't make any promises to you guys you know that um but definitely i do appreciate you guys that do understand that and do stick around for my inconsistent upload schedule and everything but yeah so before we start off on my little collective haul and show you guys what i got within the past like couple months that i've been gone um i just wanted to say real quick that i had a subscriber come up to me at work not that long ago um i am so sorry i totally did not get your name if i did i totally forgot but seriously you're the sweetest thing and that it was bizarre i really really hope that i didn't come off like a bitch just because i was so taken back but thank you so much for coming up to me and stuff like it just it's just weird you know like I don't know. It was, it was a bizarre experience. Um, so that was the first ever experience of anybody coming up to me that recognized me from the video. <laughs> and I was super, super taken back this one because I was at work and I was like in a totally different mindset. And then just the fact that someone knew me from my videos, it's again, bizarre. Like I couldn't believe it. Yeah, if you're watching this, please comment down below because I would just really love to know your name at least. And besides from that, I had a bride reach out to me not that long ago um, about just like a freelance gig or whatever. Just pretty much me doing hair and makeup for her wedding day and everything like that. And I ended up having her come over to my house to for us to do like her trial and everything. And as we were talking, she re revealed that she watched my videos and that's kind of how she found me. And again, crazy like i just never honestly expect to meet anybody that watches me which is insane um but other than that thank you guys like honestly if you if you see me out in portland or on the streets or whatever um and you recognize me just say hi like definitely i feel like it's gonna take a little bit getting used to at first so if i'm like Oh, okay, hold on, holy shit. <laughs> um, just bear with me, but I, I honestly love meeting you guys. Like, it's it's crazy. So hopefully I can meet some more of you guys in the near future. And yeah, I mean, if you guys want a little mini makeover or something like that at Sephora, let a girl know. All right, so now that we have caught up 
with everything. This is gonna be a really long video. I just want you guys to know that right away. Um, but yeah, so now we are all caught up. Let's get into my collective haul here. So I have everything in this box right here that I've accumulated. And all these have been purchased pretty much within the past like three and a half months or so. So pretty much from the time that I've been gone. Um, but yeah, so let's just get right into it. Before I get into the box, I just wanna show you guys one of the things that I bought um, that can't fit in the box first. Um, and it is this guy right here. So this is the Mayron Celebrity HD Pro. Um, so I just needed a new foundation kit and palettes or whatever for my kit just because my RCMA palette was running out of the main colors that the more popular shades, I want to say. So one of the main reasons why I wanted this guy specifically is because um, Styled by Harouche, which does the Kardashians makeups from time to time, um, she posted a photo of Kylie and like Courtney and all of them, whatever, um, not that long ago, or I guess it was probably like a year ago, I want to say, um, but she posted a picture of them and then listed that this was the foundation that she used on them um, and it photographs so beautifully so I needed to get my hands on this. Um, so I got pretty much the Pro Collection which has I think 20 out of 30 shades that they offer. Um, so it opens up like so. It has a little bubble wrap protector right there and then you have all the colors. <laughs> right there so there's a ton to work with um but honestly these alone like for one of the pans that you can honestly get them at like amazon or something like that but one of the pans how many grams are you 25 grams so nine ounces of product in this thing and it's roughly about like ten dollars for a pot so it's a really really great deal and these guys have incredible coverage and they're just butter like literally buttery goodness and I am so excited to have these guys. Um, if you guys want a review on these, please let me know because I'll totally do one for you guys. So I haven't worn them for a full day yet. I like literally just like popped it on real quick, saw how it looked like and then kind of took it off just because it's been so hot over here lately. But definitely if you guys want a more in-depth review, let me know. So now that we got that out of the way, we can kind of get into everything else here, which it's a lot of stuff, so please bear with me. So one of the first and most recent things that I got is, of course, my Ardell Demi Wispies. Honestly, probably one of my favorite lashes ever, just because they look so good on everybody. So I went to Ulta not too long ago and picked up the Kenra Platinum Dry Shampoo. Um, as you guys know, I love Kenra as a hair product line and a hair color line and just a hair line in general. I just absolutely love their stuff. Um, but yeah, I was running low on my Elizabeth and James Nirvana Dry Shampoos that I got in gratis not that long ago and I just need something new. And so yeah, so I got one of these. So this guy I actually just picked up from work yesterday and it is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. Um, so this is just a self tanner um, and I've heard really, really great reviews about it and the fact that it develops within a couple hours is absolutely amazing. And yeah, so I just wanted to try it out and also the fact that I have been extremely, extremely fucking pale so I needed to brown myself up a little bit. Um, I did use this this morning so this is kind of the tan that it develop to which I'm not mad about like it's actually really, really nice it's like super super smooth I could probably go a little bit darker so I'll probably do this one more time maybe tonight so yeah so I got that guy so I picked up a couple things from NYX when I was over at Target not that long ago looking for like some house stuff um, and I picked up their contour kit for my professional makeup kit just because um, I just wanted something pretty affordable but not like crazy crazy expensive or anything like that and NYX is a brand that I trust fully as far as like quality and everything um, and these guys are actually really really nice they're super super creamy um, they could be a little powdery um, but other than that they're really really great and I love them that highlight that like really bright white highlight looks so good on like very very fair complexions and I love it the other couple things from NYX that I picked up were a couple of their HD concealers. I have used these guys in the past and I absolutely love them. Um, they're just really, really great quality. Again, for the price, they're absolutely amazing. Um, so I got the colors 12, which is the green colored corrector, 
0304 and 1 and I feel like these are pretty much the ones I feel like I need and use the most of for my clientele so yeah so I got for these guys so while I was at Target I did pick up one of these wet and wild illuminating palettes um so it's just a really nice kind of four color highlighter um and these guys are actually really, really pretty um I was recommended this by my friend Susie um and she's literally like she lives in highlight so if she ever recommends a highlight I am totally gonna take her word for it but yeah these guys are really really pretty because they're like nice and soft they're not like super pow in your face and this is actually going in my kit just because I feel like a lot of my brides don't necessarily want like a full-blown like highlight like they don't want to look wet they just want to look glowy so yeah sticking with the drugstore theme i also picked up the maybelline lash sensational not that long ago um so honestly i was just at the drugstore and i was going through the makeup aisles and maybelline was like buy one get one half off or whatever like that and i was gonna pick up uh, one of their foundations because I was running out of mine and then so I was like, okay Well, I need something for my half off mine as well and For some reason like something in my head told me to pick up the lash sensational I don't know why it was just like something it was just like somebody said it was good You need to get it and I was like, okay, I will um, Yeah, and it ended up being my friend Susie again and dude this stuff is amazing like it's like Roller lashes, chubbier cousin. Um, I feel like this gives a little bit more volume. Um, I love this stuff. Like, it's amazing. So the other Maybelline product that I got because I needed my like buy one get one half off whatever it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. So I ended up picking up another one just because I was running out of mine. Um, and not only was I running out, I felt like my old one was oxidizing really really badly. Because um, typically I'm a 220 for the Maybelline foundations, and then. All of a sudden, I feel like that one got super, super dark and orange. So I think it was oxidizing really, really bad and it freaked me out, so I ended up getting 128. Um, so either I just got really, really pale or it oxidized, I have no clue, but yeah, so I grabbed one of these guys. So I should do some grocery shopping, and again, I have to go down the makeup aisle. Like, you cannot, I cannot go to like a Walmart, a Fred Meyer, a Target, any sort of drugstore without going down the makeup aisle. So for some reason, this caught my eye and it's been out for a while now and I don't know why all of a sudden I was like, okay, like let's just try it out. Um, so I ended up picking up one of the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids or yeah, the Vivid Matte Liquids and this is in the color Nude Flush. Um, I think the main reason that this attracted me was because of the fact that it was kicking in the wedding season and I just needed to add a couple extra colors and stuff to my kit and this I just felt like would be one of like the most perfect kind of blushy pink, pinky nudes that a lot of brides tend to gravitate towards so yeah. So I grabbed one of these guys. Um, it's more like a lip cream rather than a liquid lipstick. So I would like to compare these to like the NYX soft matte lip creams, um, except these don't dry down as matte. They're more of like a satin. So yeah. And then the final thing from the drugstore that I picked up is the Nivea for Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. So you guys have seen in my videos in the past that I was using the Post Shave Balm Sensitive in cooling. Um, just because I grabbed the wrong one at some point and was, I, like, I meant to grab this one but I grabbed the cooling one instead because I thought it was a cooling one. Um, but yeah, so Susie, again. <laughs> She's honestly like, guys, she's like my best friend and like, not only she's my best friend, she's like my best makeup friend. So like, we exchange thoughts on makeup and stuff all the time. Also, she wears a Sephora with me, so we're pretty much soulmates. <laughs> um, anyways, so she was saying how she picked up the original sensitive non-cooling one and she loves it so much better than the actual cooling one because the thing with the cooling is that it has such an insane like strong man scent and personally I love the scent of like men's cologne and stuff like that like I just think it's like really sexy and like especially on women like I've I've even worn like men's cologne on myself from time to time and it just like develops really nice and sensual um but anyway that's besides the point um with that guy it I feel like it was really really strong and that's what she thought as well and also the fact that it lingers a little bit more this one literally like you'll smell it for like 
immediate application and then it just goes away so you don't really necessarily need to smell it later on um so yeah so i picked up one of these guys and i honestly feel like this works a little bit better than the cooling one so i understand a little bit better now okay, from jeffree star i picked up two velour liquid lipsticks so i picked up drug lord and gemini um gemini i picked up i believe like the second or third restock just because i just I just needed it and then drug lord i wanted just so i can create like ombre lips or use those like white liquid liner and stuff so yeah so i grabbed these two so i'm still debating if i want to get mannequin or not because i feel like mannequin will be a really really pretty nude on my complexion i just really want a really pretty like that kind of like washed out really nudie nude um and i got i'm nude for that reason but i'm nude is literally so so pale on me that it just does not work so i'm hoping mannequin is just like a little like it is a little bit darker and it's like that next step up so i'm hoping that might work out um but yeah i'm still debating on it um i know the launch was yesterday and it's probably sold out by now but i'll just i think i'll just wait for it a little bit i'll just hold off on it look at some more swatches and look at, at other people's like reviews on it and stuff like that and then i'll then i'll decide but other than that right now drug lord and gemini i picked up a couple things from anastasia um so Back in April, me and Susie and our boyfriends, we ended up going on a trip to Seattle for Susie's birthday. And while we were there, obviously when we were shopping around, we had to stop by at Sephora. Um, so we stopped by um, Sephora in like the university district in that little like shopping area and just popped in. They We saw that they had the whole Anastasia line. Our store doesn't have it, unfortunately. We were supposed to get it, but something happened. We don't have it um so yeah so we saw the full line at the store in seattle and i ended up picking up a couple things i only picked up two liquid lipsticks and i picked a uh, sad girl and vamp um so i've been eyeing these two colors for the longest time ever pretty much like since they came out and just never got around to it um but i'm really really excited to have these two i honestly haven't worn them as much as i thought i would just because i have so many makeup and so many liquid lipsticks that are pretty much the same color um but yeah i'm excited to have these about a month ago i placed an order for ColourPop. um they had their like friends and family um like 20 percent off the whole entire store sale whatever so while they were having that sale i was like debating the entire time like oh should i purchase something should i not i don't know um and then literally like once the sale was over i was like okay i'm just gonna get something and i mean 20 percent off isn't like that much so i wasn't like too bummed out but either way i got some stuff from ColourPop. um what i picked up were a couple of their eyebrow pencils their eyeliner pencils and a ton of lip stuff so we'll just go through those real quick um so i picked up two of their cream gel liners um one is in swerve so that's the black one and then the other one is in brouhaha <laughs> which i don't know why that just makes me laugh every time i say it it's yeah so brouhaha is just kind of like a dark espresso um so yeah so i pretty much got these guys for my kit just because i ran out of my like kind of creamy pencils for the waterline and everything like that and these actually stay on really really well like i was surprised and they're like five bucks so yeah. I picked up a couple of their brow pencils as well. So the colors that I ended up getting were, let's see here, Dope Taupe, Black and Brown, Honey Blonde, and then I got two Bang & Brunettes. So again, these were purchased for my kit. I did pick up two Bang & Brunettes because one of them is my personal one. Um, so yeah, and these guys are actually really, really nice as well. They're really creamy, so they're not going to be as hard and waxy as the Anastasia or the NYX um, kind of like brow wizzy type of pencils. Um, they're a lot softer, um, but I actually really like them. So yeah, again, like five, five bucks, six bucks, something like that. They're amazing. I picked up some of their lip stuff as well. Um, so I got their like ultra mattes and their ultra satins. Um, I've never owned any of these before and I'm really, really excited to have them because they're actually really, really nice. I have purchased their lippy sticks in the past and those are really, really amazing. Um, but yeah, so I picked up several of these guys. So we'll just go through the colors really quick here. Um, so their ultra satin lip, I got two lips, which I am obsessed with. Like. It's like a purpley, mauvey, gray, vampy, browny color. I don't, I don't even know how to explain this color. It's just absolutely amazing, and I love it. And honestly, their satin lips, the formula, 
is so good like it's really comfortable on the lips but it stays so long as well uh, they do transfer of course but other than that they're absolutely amazing the other satin lip that i got is freaking frack which is this kind of pinky nude mauvey you know my color so one of those guys and then the last satin is echo park so Echo Park, I bought specifically for my kit, again, just because, again, it's one of those like kind of very light pinky type nudes that brides tend to go for, so yeah. And so the rest of them are going to be their ultra mattes. So for their ultra mattes, I got Stingray, which honestly is an exact dupe for Androgyny. So if you guys miss out on Androgyny, Stingray is it. And I got Chi, which is from the Karushi collaboration. Um, honestly, really, really pretty nude. Like I. This is actually what I hope Mannequin ends up being. Like, the Ultra Mats I like because they stay on really, really long, but I feel like the formula is kind of inconsistent. Like, some of them are like super drying and some of them are like fairly comfortable. Um, and Jeffree Star's Look of Lipsticks, I just absolutely love. They're like probably one of my favorite formulas in the whole wide world because they just feel so nice and their quality is just absolutely amazing. So, I'm hoping Mannequin is something like this. So another one from the Karushi collab is K, which is this kind of like warmer, kind of terracotta-y, like brick red almost. And then the other ones are R&B, which is this kind of like purpley berry color, and then Tool, which is similar but a little bit more red, I want to say. So that's everything I got from ColourPop. The rest of this is all stuff that I got from Sephora. Um, so yeah, so we'll just get right into it. This first thing that I'm gonna show you guys, like I really kind of like don't want to show you just because of the fact that it is sold out everywhere. And it is, of course, the Too Faced Peach Palette. I was debating so hard whether or not I wanted to get this. And obviously I caved just because, like, honestly, it was like at first sniff, I needed it in my life just because I absolutely love peach rings and this is exactly what it reminds me of. It's just smells so good. Um, but obviously the colors and everything in it are absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, so yeah, the peach palette, one of the, one of the lucky people that ended up getting them. So I know a lot of people miss out on this product just because there was like so much hype around it and it was so limited. Um, but if you follow Jared, um, so like the co-owner and co-founder of Too Faced, if you follow him on Instagram, he did post something saying that these will be released eventually. So just, just go check that out um, but yeah so you guys will end up getting being able to get your hands on these pretty soon so i was really debating on if i wanted to do any tutorials with this guy because of the fact that i thought it was gone forever um but i think i'll start doing some so if you guys want to see some peach palette looks let me know got a couple highlighters because you know me i love my highlight i just can't live without it and highlighters are just so pretty and I just, I just can't resist. Um, so one of the ones that I picked up is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter. I got the one in Sin because obviously it's just a really pretty kind of like light gold. Um, we'll just do a little, there's a little swatch there for you. So that is Sin and it is beautiful. It's so creamy and I just, I just needed it. By the way, sorry if you guys are noticing that my camera is like either it'll be like super overexposed or whatever like i have no idea what's going on with it um i'm trying but yeah so just bear with me <laughs> the other thing that i got is the tarte twinkle palette um so this is tarte's highlighter palette and this guy's absolutely beautiful as well um i was very confused about the middle shade for a really long time but i ended up starting to use it as like an under eye like setting powder and it's actually really I like it a lot um, but yeah so you get a couple of different highlights here so you get more of like a more of like a typical like kind of light gold and then you get your kind of standard like pretty more champagne I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up and then you get this kind of like weird like setting powder eye thing so yeah yeah, I know this guy is really, really hard to get a hold of as of right now as well. So I'm really happy that I ended up getting my hands on one. From Kat Von D, I ended up picking up one of her Metal Crush eyeshadows. This is in Thunderstruck. Um, so I've had my eye on this for literally the longest time. And every time we get it back in stock, I always take one and then like kind of put it 
on hold for myself, but then I, I like never picked it up. I honestly don't know why, um, but I finally got it and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, the main reason why I got this was because I can, I just love this as just like a highlighter for the face, for like the corners of the eyes, like literally everything. It's like, it's like gold, but it's also kind of like peachy. It reminds me a little bit of Max Melon, but like more bright. So I guess it actually just reminds me more of Max Vanilla Pigment, not melon. Um, but yeah, it is beautiful. And like my hand is just swatched with like a ton of highlighters and it's just gonna, I'm just gonna have a very glowy arm, that's fine. Another thing from Too Faced that I picked up is the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. You guys know I have waited so long, so long for this mascara to come out and I love it. It's absolutely amazing. It's all I ever hoped and dreamed for. Enough said. So I got a couple of things from Sephora online. Um, I don't remember exactly what I ordered, but I ordered something and then I always like to check the sale tab and see what they have on sale and I ended up picking up a couple Sephora collection things that were on sale. The things that I got is a number 20 eyebrow brush. So it's just like a very kind of standard angled brow brush. Um, so yeah. So this guy ended up being on sale because they did redo the brush essentially. Like not necessarily the bristles itself, but they ended up putting a spoolie at the end. So the one that doesn't come with the spoolie went on sale and I had to get it just because it ended up being stupid cheap because we as a Sephora employee gets 40% off on Sephora products. So this was stupid cheap. So I had to get this guy and I love how like dense it is and it's really great for powder brow products and stuff. So. Yeah. The other thing that I found that was on sale that I am kind of bummed about because I think they're getting rid of it and I actually really, really like these is the Sephora Rouge Infusion Lip Stains. Um, so I got it in the color Rosewood. Again, this is one of the things I bought for my kit. Um, so Rosewood is just kind of a very soft, kind of rosy, pinky mauve bridal color. Um, and it's a stain and these stains are actually really 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 good and i have no idea why they are discontinuing it and i'm very very sad so i had to pick one up um but yeah so got one of these guys i should have ordered probably like two or three of them because they're so so good and again sephora collection i got it for stupid stupid cheap so as you guys probably already know the urban decay revolution lipsticks went on sale because they are discontinuing that line and they are replacing it with the new vice lipsticks and there's a ton of hype going on the vice lipsticks right now there's like a hundred colors like a bunch of different finishes ruby rose is like the spokesmodel for it and she is everything uh, but yeah so the revolution lipsticks end up going on sale and i ended up picking up three of them and i got the color stark naked bad blood and 1993 um so i'll just swatch these for you guys real quick here stark naked i got because i wanted a very kind of like nude color for myself um and this ended up being a little more of like a pinky nude again um but yeah, nonetheless i really, really love the color and the formula it's absolutely amazing so i got stark naked the color that i honestly like went on the hunt for was 1993 um this is the one i actually ordered online the other two i bought in store um because our store ran out of 1993 and i was devastated but 1993 is that kind of Darker, browny, nude, pinky-ish, like my type of color. Um, so yeah, so I got 1993 and I am absolutely loving this color. So, 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 so much. And the other color that I like was dying to have was Bad Blood. So I don't necessarily wear red lipsticks too often, but I put Bad Blood on a client and it just looked so good like it is probably the most perfect red in my opinion and it's just gorgeous no words absolutely beautiful so from sephora collection i picked up their beauty amplifier setting spray um so this actually reminds me a lot of max fix plus and i absolutely love this stuff and i love fix plus um the reason why it reminds me of fix plus is because of the fact that fix plus isn't necessarily like a setting spray i feel like fix plus is mainly the thing that i use when i want to like kind of take away any powderiness or if i want like an added extra dewy glow to the skin um so this sets your makeup but it also gives you that like really pretty like kind of luminous 
luminosity to the skin as well. So I've been loving this a lot. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> okay, we're going down to like the last final things here. And these were like a pretty recent purchase as well. Um, so one of the things, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, is the Too Faced Melted Matte. And I picked it up in the color Drop Dead Red. And it just spoke to me. Like, if any of you guys know, I absolutely love... Kat Von D's Vampira or Vampira, whatever. Um, I just love how deep of red that is, but I feel like if I don't wear it with my Night Moth lip liner, it just doesn't have the same depth and opacity that I wish it had on its own. And this is pretty much that. Um, like, this is what I wish Vampira was off the bat. Like, if it was just a little bit deeper, it would be perfect. Um, so, yeah, so Drop Dead Red is probably like, the most perfect, like, dark, vampy matte, in my opinion, for myself and honestly the Too Faced Melted Matte formulas are so good like they're very very comfortable um I just have no words they're they actually really really surprised me like they're super super comfortable and what I didn't know was that these are actually like a lip plumper as well crazy did not know that I was just trained on Too Faced by our, our um trainer for Sephora and she told me that they were lip plumpers and it even says like in the display that it's like the lip plumper without the stinger or something, whatever like that. So it's a lip plumper too. What? Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. It kind of has the same shape as their typical like melted lipsticks. Um, but yeah, these are amazing and I love them and I feel like I need to get more. I'm probably gonna get the brown one and I really, really want Queen Bee, which is like kind of a nudier, dusty, lilac-y, gray, pink. I'm really bad at describing colors, if you guys haven't noticed. But yeah, so I really feel like I need a couple more of these in my life because they're so good. Another thing from Sephora collection that I picked up is this number 90 featherweight brush. Uh, this, this brush, this brush is so good. Like, I can't. It's so stupidly soft and like honestly, I mainly bought this for my Dior Air Flash um, or like any liquidier type foundations. Like this brush works so well on Dior Air Flash, Smashbox BB Water, Urban Decay Naked Skin, any like really watery, like light, liquidy type of foundation. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing on. And also for like liquid bronzers and stuff like that, it's, you guys need this brush you just need it in your life just just go and get it trust me love it it's absolutely amazing i haven't tried it for powders yet and i feel like it would be amazing for powders as well but right now i'm just obsessed with it for more of my like liquidier foundations so that segues us into my last and final item that i have hauled within the past couple months and it is the dior skin air flash foundation so i've owned this foundation in the past i still have what's left of my previous bottle um that one is just like really really light for me so i haven't touched it in a really, really long time and i just wanted something for my more tanner months and when I sell tan and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so I picked up the Dior Skin Air Flash in number 300 medium beige and it's actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. And I honestly forgot how much I love this stuff. It's absolutely beautiful, super, super lightweight and it just gives your skin such a flawless finish and I just, oh, I love this foundation so much. Um, if I Honestly, if I had to pick like probably my top three foundations right now for myself, it would probably be this guy, my Armani Luminous Silk, and oh, oh, cool. maybe top four. So this guy, Luminous Silk, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, the liquid and the stick, they're both in the same level for me. And then my Marc Jacobs Remarkable. Those are probably my all time favorite foundations at the moment, um, but this one, Ew. All right, so that does it for my huge collective haul. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I can get back into filming videos and whatnot for you guys on a more consistent level here now, now that I'm a little bit more settled into my new home and everything like that. And yeah, instead of this collective haul, I was gonna film a gratis haul for you guys, but I think they're actually scribing out another gratis bin pretty soon here so I'll hold off on my gratis haul until I get that next batch and then I can do like a big one. Um, I don't think I want to do like 
a collective gratis haul for like all the grass that I've bought within the past couple months just because that it would be so that would be too much and I would also have to like kind of go through all myself and remember which things I got in which month and it's just no I'm not gonna do that um I'll probably just do what I got this most recent time so yeah so look out for that that'll honestly probably be my next video just because again gratis videos and like haul videos are probably the most easiest things for me to film but other than that I definitely really want to get more into filming tutorials and stuff like that um I feel like tutorials are a little bit harder for me to film just because I feel like I'm really restricted on like the eye looks that I could create with my eye shape. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Let me let me know. Let me know what you guys want me to film, cause I'll totally film whatever you guys feel like. Just just give me suggestions, cause I work better that way when people just tell me what to do rather than me having to think of stuff. But yeah. So let me know what you guys want to see in a future video. So that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging in there. I am so sorry that I've been gone for so long, but things are gonna change for sure. Um, and yeah, so again, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram already, feel free to follow me at Stephanie Tran MUA. I'll leave all the links and everything in the description box down below. Also, I am kind of debating on whether or not I want to open up my Snapchat to the public. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not that interesting enough for people to like follow me on Snapchat or anything like that. Literally, like all I ever post on Snapchat is like stuff like my puppies and food and yeah. But I mean, if you guys want, let me know. If there's enough people that actually want me to open up my Snapchat, I'll totally do it. So thank you guys again so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully soon.